Good morning, church. I'm Kirk Wood. And this morning, in this moment for mission, I'm going to talk about one great hour of sharing. One great hour of sharing is one of the United Church of Christ's five for five special mission offerings taken each year. Each special mission offering has a specific purpose in how it helps people and the world. One great hour of sharing's purpose is to help people and regions affected by natural disasters, war, and climate change. It is also about sharing the many rich resources the earth has been blessed with in a more equitable and sustainable way. This year's theme is Let Love Flow. And that is taken from the scripture from Isaiah chapter 49, verses 8 through 12. This is the message translation. God also says, when the time's ripe, I answer you. When victories do, I help you. I form you and use you to reconnect the people with me, to put the land in order, to resettle families on the ruined properties. I tell prisoners, come on out, you're free. And those huddled in fear, it's all right. It's safe now. There'll be flood, there'll be food stands along the roads, picnics on all the hills. Nobody hungry, nobody thirsty, shade from the sun, shelter from the wind, for the compassionate one guides them, takes them to the best springs. I'll make all my mountains into roads, turn them into a super highway. Look, these coming from far countries and those out of the north, these streaming in from the west and those from all the way down the Nile. During the early days of COVID-19 pandemic, it became clear that many of the Western world constructs intended to create a sense of safety had actually created a false sense of security. In a global crisis, we were faced with a danger that defied our usual protective hedges. While some were made more vulnerable by economic and geographical factors, everyone was affected by the virus. As it turns out, lines on a map don't stop the spread of disease. A pandemic does not recognize human-made boundaries. Whether we like it or not, our lives are deeply intertwined. Our well-being is bound inextricably to that of neighbors close to home and those halfway around the world. When water comes to a village, everything changes. It touches every area of life, literally and figuratively. Having clean water close by means that women in Nicaragua don't have to spend their whole day walking to the source so they might have other opportunities for learning or vocational growth. Children in Kenya no longer spend their days carrying heavy buckets so they can go to school instead. The sooner we recognize that human codependency, the better we are able to let love flow generously and indiscriminately to those who need it most. Improved sanitation slows the spread of disease so there is less preventable illness. Crops thrive in Vietnam, meaning that food security and nutrition improve in the whole community. Families can spend more time together. People of all ages around the world are empowered to provide for their families today while also planning for the future of their communities. Isaiah 49, 8-12 articulates a stunning vision for a world of justice and equity, a world where everyone has enough and all live in safety and abundance. It is also a vision for a world of interconnectedness, 
in this vision, what is good for you is also good for your neighbor. What is good for one country is good for the whole world, and what harms any one of us harms us all. The, that kingdom kind of vision runs through the work that we share in together through one great hour of sharing, much like the stream that runs through Isaiah's kingdom vision. Human-made constructs of one sort or another too often hinder human thriving. Shoring up resources for some while living, leaving many others to suffer. A world built on that sort of imbalance is counter to God's dream of creation. In order to help bring about that more just, abundant vision for humanity, one great hour of sharing supports projects around the world that create opportunity and empower communities. Through global partnerships, your offerings promote food security, enable health and wellness programs, support education and vocational training, and, of course, provide access to clean, safe water. Water, after all, is life.